Hello folks, how is everybody? I hope everybody is keeping well. So let's just see what is, oh my hair's caught, let's just see what is coming out today for you guys. Okay, I'm getting the sun, so the sun is coming out, <laughs> I like that. I don't know if it's going to come out here in Ireland, um, I highly doubt it, but some of you are going to get that lovely sun energy. Um, the sun is part of happiness and um, things getting better, so I do see a nice happy energy uh, in front of you. We have Rebirth coming out, New Beginnings, it says Healed on that card. We're seeing Explosion, Lies explo Exposed. So perhaps some of you have been in a, a sort of darker energy, you have not been feeling you know, quite so happy. Um, there could have been an issue, something here. Uh, it says a wrench in the plan. So something could have happened very suddenly. Uh, this could be like a tower moment. Uh, it could be a breakup. Um, it could be a job loss, I guess. There's something here that sort of rocked your world a little bit. And we are seeing you healing from that. We are seeing better times coming through. Wish fulfillment. Okay, so um, this is amazing. This is like the star energy. It says make a wish on that card as well. This is very interesting. I'm going to use the tarot to clarify some of this energy. So let us <clears throat> clarify this lovely sun. We have the Queen of Cups. Emotionally happy. I mean, like, yeah, just like so feeling so good, right? Really feeling like you're pouring into yourself. Um, some of you, like I said, were in a, a dark place for a while and you do feel like you've pulled yourself you know out of that dark place or um you're in the process of that but you're starting to see like you know that light things are getting a little bit better after whatever this explosion was we have rebirth yeah it's like you're coming back stronger two of cups is coming out now for some of you this is going to be about a romantic relationship a relationship where there was like a big breakup or a big ending <coughs> excuse me this would be someone here that you have strong feelings for and you do have a certain hope or wish around this explosions being clarified with this five of wands so it can be an argument a fight um challenges maybe other people or things that were influencing things here out of your control as well Two of Swords. Okay, so I do see something here is um, about to like happen, right? There's a wish fulfillment energy coming through, but I don't really think that you are going to see this coming. So um, let's look at the tarot a little bit more and we will see if we can find out what this is about. So let's see, we'll use this deck over here. So Okay, we're getting the page of wands uh, <laughs> flying out there so it was um a message it could be a message it could be that you're traveling when something happens let me see some of you are like literally going on the holiday of a lifetime the moon i do feel like a lot of you this is uh, related to a particular person and a relationship though The Hermit, again, it just really does feel like this is something that's coming out of like nowhere. There's like a silence, there's like a pause, there's like a stillness between you and, you know, whatever this energy is. And then we're seeing like this breakthrough energy. Yeah, this is with someone here who you are disconnected from. There's a, there's a break up here for sure. Okay, so this could be someone here that you feel like you have been in a process of moving on from. So again, we're seeing that lovely healing energy. There was something I wanted to ask this person. Yeah, I want to know what they sort of want to say. Why are they messaging? Oh, ho, ho, ho. The Two of Cups. And what? The King of Cups. Oh, look. Okay, so this person, they want to tell you about their feelings. Hmm, they want to tell you about their feelings. Let's clarify this moon energy and this hermit energy. I feel like this has been a, an extended period of silence between you and this person. Yeah, look, High Priestess. I don't feel like there's been like a whole lot really happening between you and this person. 
you may think about this person a lot and you know this person may think about you a lot as well there seems to be like an attempt to like sift here and like understand something but in silence <clears throat> I'm a little bit toast up again, so you guys will have to excuse me. Strength. It's clarifying this Eight of Cups energy. So it could be that this person is needing to, you know, gather some sort of courage to send this message and reveal some sort of feelings to you, something that they have been pushing down. Um, but it could also be that it took a lot for someone to like actually walk away here. So if you walked away from this person, I don't think it was something that was like easy for you, especially since we're seeing all these cards like a difficulty that you have been through. The Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. So you've been just like working on your stability. I do see the sadness. There's like a loss surrounding like a connection or a relationship with someone. And I'm seeing someone who's like carrying something. It could be guilt, it could be regret. There's something here that this person like needs to get off their chest is what it looks like to me. This person wants to make it very like uh, obvious or clear to you that you like have value to them. Okay, so I think that this person is concerned, not even just concerned, there's like a, an awareness here that something that this person like did or how they acted in the past really fell short. So now they're wanting to come in, you know, romantic and with their heart on their sleeve. So let's see. Let us see. What deck will we use now? We'll use this one. I think this was the one I was using anyway. We will continue to use this one then. Right, let's have a nosy. See what this person's gonna do. Okay, so the Ace of Cups is the overall energy. So there's definitely an opportunity here for a new cycle to begin. Let's see. Strength. Cross with the Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Justice, Queen of Wands, Page of Swords. There's that Eight of Wands landing in this person's position in the future. So I'm definitely seeing a message. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands and the lovers, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I am getting indications that there could be a third party here as well for some of you. Some of you um, are married or dealing with someone who's married or you're both married, because I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing indications of that. So the current energy is strength. So just like the card that we pulled earlier, um, this person is currently in a stage where they are trying to get some sort of courage to uh, make some sort of move. The Knight of Wands is in the challenge position, so I don't think this person here is like wanting to come across in this way. I think this person has a fear that maybe they're going to be come, coming across a certain way to you, but it's also like a very impulsive sort of energy like that, so this person could be sort of like, you know, resisting an urge to, to reach out and maybe take some sort of action until they are like solid on what it is that they're wanting to say. Five of Cups. This is also showing like you gaining some sort of like strength over a disappointment that you experienced. Possibly because you view someone's like energy as being very like heavy on the wand energy, like heavy on the passion, you know, that sort of thing, but a bit flighty. And also there was like a lack of clarity around this person. So this person's like aware of that though, because I saw that earlier. This person like was making it clear to me that they want to show you how much they value you. So they don't want to come in in this energy, but they're also aware that you might view them that way. So this person has had a realization that something needs to be made right about some sort of situation. 
this is around them not investing or making you feel like you were worth investing into into the past so again for some of you i am because i'm getting multiple um queens here i'm also getting like the lovers so there could be a third party that's influencing things somehow here someone that this person's maybe attached to or someone that this person worries about it could also be a mother <coughs> okay so let me see in some sort of yeah silence i'm getting strongly silence here this person has been going over like a lot in their mind about what sort of like steps they want to take moving forward but they do have you in mind this person's like really attracted to you there's like strong passionate energy coming through from this person but i'm getting an energy here where it feels you, you feel like this person chose somebody else so you feel like this person chose somebody else that's what it looks like to me or something else there's something here that was like impacting things and you feel this person chose that path for some of you again there could be like family or something as well so i do see this person reaching out they do seem to be sending some sort of message from the cards we were looking at earlier it looks like this person's wanting to open up emotionally to you let's see the wheel the Nine of Swords, we saw that card earlier as well. The Hermit and the Five of Wands. So when you get this message that's coming through out of like a silence between you and this person, you are not really sure how to react or what to do. You know, you're very, very unsure and confused. There's like a lack of clarity. Um, I see I'm see that I see this person over here like wanting to turn something around. So they're wanting to have this conversation, you know, about their feelings, but they're like really, really stressed about it. There is a, a chance that this person, you know, could choose an easier path because this person is, you know, once you guys are talking, this person is confronted then with like a choice to make, right? Are they going to continue with what they had been sort of planning? Are they going to open up and, you know, reveal all their feelings and stuff like that? Or are they going to like chicken out and are they going to, you know, take the easy path and maybe just stay a bit quiet? Um, if that happens and, and this person chooses to go down that path then from your perspective it's going to look like this person's showing up in the same energy that they did in the past and that's not going to be uh, particularly pleasing for you um, especially if you have already been on like a healing journey from this person but I mean there's also a chance here that this person is going to have that strength and that courage because we did see the strength card twice to walk down the path that they're actually wanting to walk down and this is like their emotions you know talking about their emotions and like revealing their emotions and their hopes and their dreams and all of that but we're ending with the lovers so that's a choice the emperor mm -hmm. this is what i was just talking about the divine masculine's choice and how um, yeah luck judgment it's again linked to that energy that i was talking about earlier when i was saying that there has been like an awareness with this person about their prior behavior so they need to come in and sort of like explain that to you you know that they understand because if they don't and they try to like sweep it under the rug and just ignore it then um, i don't think you're gonna really you know kind of pick this up too well and we have the fool underneath so yeah look this person is wanting to send some sort of message look knight of swords eight of wands and the fool so this person is definitely wanting to reach out so um i would expect this person it doesn't look like you're going to be waiting too long to hear from this person it looks like about three months um but you seem to be a little bit unsure and yeah again um i think that that is because of you know your history with this person so that is what i am seeing i hope that that has helped thank you all very very much and i hope you all have lovely days thank you Bye bye